It's been a long way from the good old video cassette to the CD to the DVD up to the Blu-ray player. But this is much, much more than just a multimedia device for videos and photos. It is today's intelligent communication center in the modern living room. Hey, Michael, Chris here. How are you doing, man? Hi, Chris. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Good. I never thought I'd be speaking to you over my Blu-ray player. That is kind of cool. Anyway, um, you were telling me about this new function with Skype and the Blu-ray player, and I'm trying to get into that. Could you just show it to me? Could you just come over and show it to me? Just cool. come on over. Happy to do so. I'm still for the up close and personal. Now, Michael, now tell me, I know what a Blu-ray player is, of course. I can see this device on top of the box with the camera and the microphones, but how does it work together? This camera is simply connected by the USB port of the Blu-ray player, and the player is hooked up to the internet. And already with this setting, you can do Skype calls with your friends through the Blu-ray player. That is great, just like we had before. But what if I'm not there? That's a great new function here. You can leave a video message which is shown to your friends when they are trying to call you and you cannot take the call. Now can we get into that? How do we record a message? Yeah, it's very easy. I will show you. We move to settings mm -hmm. and just go over here to video mail. We go down to video mail greeting and here we are. That is easy. Should I, should I leave a message? Yeah, you that's it. Hey guys, I'm sorry I can't be there. Just leave a message. And that's it. It's that's that it? easy. That is cool. Okay, Chris, and here you see there's a blue signal. Somebody tried to reach you and he left a message for you. Can we see that? Yeah, let's do. So we just go down here to voicemail, three messages. Should we take a look? Let's take the first one, yeah. Hi, Mark. Hi, Betty. We got the whole place set up for the party this weekend. You are coming. Let's party. I don't know who Betty is, but I'll be at the party. <laughs> now, it's amazing what you can do with a Blu-ray player nowadays. Yeah, that's right, but that's just one great function. We have many more to offer in our 2011 Panasonic Blu-ray players. Should I show it to you? Please, let's go. Okay, Chris, what you see here on the TV screen behind us is our new graphic user interface of our Blu-ray players. It's very easy to use. You can operate it with a normal remote control, but you can also use your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch for that. That's why you have that thing in your hand. I was wondering, okay, now show me how it works. Yeah, that's right. So you have a wide range of opportunities how to use your iPad as a remote control. That one we call gesture. Mm -hmm. So I just move my finger here and you see how we oh, operate wow. and navigate in the graphic user interface. All right, now how about if I want more a classy look of a remote control, can I get that on there also? Yeah, indeed you can. So you go on more and choose here controller. So now there it looks like the normal remote control you get right. with the product. You can push here on the buttons like on the normal remote control. That is cool, okay. And then also quite funny ones, um, for example, to shake here, you can program an action, what should happen when you shake your iPad. Mm -hmm. And when I shake the iPad, the tray of the player is open. <laughs> that is cool. Can I shake it to close yeah, it? Yeah, please do. I'll try it. All right. Yeah. So is this available already for, for customers? Um, it's available very soon, already in April, free of charge. So cool. all you need is your Panasonic Blu-ray player and your Apple iPad or iPod or iPhone. There's one more thing I'd like to try. Please May try. I? 